and we're recording. Welcome back to the Mom Edit. It's Kat here, and today we are talking about baggy jeans. If you follow us over on the Mom Edit, then you might have seen our girl Scotty do a full haul of baggy jeans, and she is a little bit curvier, but she is a straight size person, and we got a question in the comments from that post that she did asking for a search for baggy jeans for plus size people. So here I am entering the chat to talk about baggy jeans. Jeans in general are just such a challenge category of clothing for me as an ultra curvy plus size woman. I do wear baggy clothes, but they tend to be more in the sweatpant, cargo pant variety and a true denim that is baggy on me, I think is like, you know, finding a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It doesn't feel like it's actually going to happen. So I ordered a few different styles from Abercrombie, Good American, and Old Navy for different price points and different varieties and tried to pull together everything I could find, which to be honest, there are far and few baggy jeans even available for plus size on the market right now, but this is what I found. So let's get into it. Okay, up first we have Good American. I hate these. <laughs> these are the Good Ease Relaxed Jean. They are made with reinforced belt loops, flat tummy tuck, and a gap proof waistband. Good American and I have been in a love-hate relationship lately. They used to be my absolute go-to for jeans. However, lately they just don't fit me correctly. But this had to be ordered in a 26 and a 28, which I am not that size in any other brand. I really have such a hard time finding the right sizing for this brand. And I find it very frustrating because they were such a staple for me in plus size jeans and what I wear. But now they are not a jean that I typically go to. And the same is true for these. I did not like these at all. There was significant gapping in the back. They didn't fit me well. They were way too long. They just were not great. They're just too big. <gasps> and what I didn't love as well is that these Swarovski crystals that are on here or these little like studs, they are not really well designed. They started falling off immediately, which I think is kind of crazy. And for a $260 pair of jeans, I have to love it. It has to feel like love at first sight and this is absolutely not that this would require so much alteration for me and to be honest they look baggy but not baggy in a cool way baggy in a way that just doesn't work for my body funny but not funny haha ha. funny weird one thing i also wanted to mention about these is that the inseam on this is 34 inches and because i'm a petite person with a really small torso this almost touches the bottom of my bra it's that much fabric. In my opinion, no pants should ever come up to your Yeah. Pants. Both of these sizes, the 26 and the 28, are no bueno for me. Didn't love it. All right, moving on to Abercrombie. These are Abercrombie's Curve Love the Baggy Jean in a size 37, which is equivalent to a 24. And Abercrombie is also one of those brands that tends to run a little bit smaller in their denim. And denim that doesn't have stretch for me, I do typically have to size up. Ooh, these are tight. This is the top of their size range. While it did fit me, I was really skeptical as to whether they would actually work or not. First of all, they don't really look baggy on me. And second of all, I don't love the cut. I got a lot of cake in the back and these are just not tall enough for me to cover all of my bum. And I don't really love when you can see the top part of your bum and then that middle part of your back. I really like for my jeans to come right up to, you know, not the middle of the back, but just at that lower back point so that you feel full covered, you feel comfortable. And especially as someone who wears a lot of cropped clothing. That's really important for me to make sure that I have a good pair of jeans that just looks really crisp and beautiful from the backside. And I just didn't feel like these were achieving that for me. I will say, however, I did think that the leg width is actually perfect for me. I really like a more straight leg style versus a wide leg style. So I really like this style of denim on the ankle, but in terms of how they fit, they're not keepers. Okay, moving on to what arguably might be the best jean in this jean haul that is very underwhelming for me because I actually don't really love any of these jeans and that is Old Navy. I was really pleasantly surprised by Old Navy because first and foremost, their jeans actually were truly baggy on me and second, they're the most affordable of every single pair that I tried. If you're a person who is thinking, this is a trend that I kind of want to dip my toe in, Old Navy might be a great option for you because you're not going to break the bank trying to try out this trend. I will say, I think these were still a little too baggy. They didn't quite fit exactly the way that I wanted. These are gonna be way too big. Oh boy. And I would have needed some alteration if I decided to keep these as well. One thing I really like is that the butt pockets are really close to each other, which I think makes and accentuates a nice little bubble booty. And I think that's 
perfect if you're a person who's trying to accentuate those assets. This jean in particular is called the mid-rise baggy wide leg jean and it is definitely wide leg and it is also definitely baggy. I ordered it in a 24 and then I also ordered a size up in a 26. I will say the 24 fit me more like a traditional wide leg jean versus a baggy jean. The 26 I don't know if it was like three sizes too big or what, but they were like massively oversized. I just don't know if they're ones that I would wanna keep or not. Neither of these sizes necessarily worked for me, but I always run into this problem because when you have a lot of thigh and booty and like a really small waist and a smaller bottom half, it makes it really, really challenging to actually find a pair of jeans that are baggy that work for that kind of body. So in my opinion, yes, it's achievable to find it, but it's really, really, really difficult. If I really were looking for a pair of baggy jeans that I wanted to add to my closet, this probably would have been the one that I would have kept and I would have had it altered so that it would have fit a little bit better in my waist. Okay, and then I also ordered a second pair of jeans from Old Navy as well. And while these don't look baggy on me, they are truly my absolute favorite of every jean that I tried on in this haul. I actually really love this semi like gray charcoal color like a little bit of a washed distressed black this is called the extra high rise baggy wide leg jean these definitely were significantly higher than the blue jean that I tried on from Old Navy and while they don't look baggy on me they are really cute I think they're worth the cost I actually really liked these a lot and felt like they were overall a much better fit or the best fit of any of the jeans that I tried on today okay so so in conclusion, I kind of hate all of the baggy jeans that I tried on today, which is unfortunate, but sometimes that's how it goes in the world of fashion, especially as a plus size babe. I will say the one place that I did not get jeans in in time to film this was from Eloquii, and the one pair of baggy jeans that I do have in my closet that I love and wear, which happen to also no longer be available, are from Eloquii. So if you are a plus size person who is looking to try a pair of baggy jeans or a pair of trendy jeans, maybe check them out. I think that they tend to make jeans that are a little bit more well-fitted and equipped for plus size people since they are a brand that only creates plus size clothing. All right, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed my failed search for baggy jeans. Everything will be linked in the description if you wanna try things for yourself. And as always, leave us a comment, let us know if you liked this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. I really have a challenge with finding the right fitting and sizing for both of these. So I really have a hard time finding the right sizing and fitting God. So I really have the heart. My God, I'm so sorry. I have to burp, oh my God. Excuse me. Oof.